Hello and welcome to today's NetBiz demo. Today we'll talk about what is network monitoring. So network monitoring is a, a software that allows uh, network administrators to check the status and resources of network devices such as routers, servers, access points, switches and so on. Its uh, original implementation uh, is based on the SNNP or also Simple Network Management Protocol which is a protocol that allows a centralized server to verify or query uh, remote devices to obtain a status check. SNMP is also used to receive alerts from alerts when they detect situations or conditions that require administrative attention such as the disk is full or the CPU is uh, overutilized and may cause performance issues on the local host. So to manage these two types of interactions, uh, the first one is the SNMP GET where the server request for uh, uh, the status of information about specific resources on a managed device, also called the SNMP agent. And the second one is the SNMP trap where a managed device can send an alert or notification to the server that something bad is happening uh, on that device itself and that's called SNMP trap. So um, for an SNMP kind of system to work you have the server and you have the SNMP agents that run on monitoring endpoints and as I was saying before this could be servers, workstations or network devices such as routers or switches. And the SNMP data that is exchanged between uh, uh, the two entities are also um, collected or defined by MIBS, which stands for Management Information Base and is nothing more than a set, a dictionary of uh, queries or records that can be exchanged between the two systems. So as you can imagine, there are of course um, standardized MIBs, but there are also vendor-specific MIBs uh, that refer to specific OIDs or resources that are only applicable to that specific device or manufacturer. Uh, for example, also NetBiz as a MIB. So in this slide, you can see the interaction first between uh, an SNMP server or polar and an SNMP agent. Here in this case, the server is asking for uh, the host name of a specific device. And you can see here the SNMP GET query with the version number, the device IP address, and the actual OID or uh, resource that the server is asking information for. And then you can see the agent or the monitor device that sends back the string of its host name. In the second one, you can see an SNMP agent, so the monitor device sending a trap or an alert to the SNMP receiver, which is in this case the server. So SNMP is a one way to do network monitoring and it's a necessary monitoring capability that all organizations need to have because they need to be aware of the status of devices. But there is another type of monitoring which is called passive. And passive monitoring relies on listening to uh, traffic exchange between two endpoints, which could be, for example, a browser or a client accessing Google, which is in this case the server servicing this specific request. So in this case, you can see on the left the browser that, for example, is downloading uh, the google.com homepage, uh, also the index.html, and you can send Google that sends back a series of packets that contain the overall structure of the Google homepage. So this is the way like information flows in a network and this is the information that uh, can be uh, listened or um, you know uh, basically extracted from a communication. If you can see on the bottom with the payload, the TCP, the IP and the MAC section, those are section of a, of a packet or a, um, a pack of information between uh, a server and a client and vice versa. So the goal of passive monitoring is uh, listening to this packet and understanding what's going on in the network. So to listen uh, to this type of a conversation there are three different ways uh, to do passive analysis. Uh, you can uh, use a network tap which is an inline device that all it does is simply copies 
the uh, all the packets flowing between a source and a destination to a collector for then further analysis. So then think about this collector can uh, understand what type of information is uh, going through its through a network. Uh, who are, for example, the top talkers, the top applications that are consuming a considerable amount of bandwidth. So if you can imagine really passive monitoring is really to, it's good to understand how my network is used, what my users are doing, and what are the top application or top protocols that are, uh, my network is serving. In the second, you can see that this information is uh, extracted by using a network switch. So in this case, what you can do is like configure a, th a third port, uh, for example, in a monitor mode. Uh, and this is a very similar to a tap, uh, but implementing the switch. And the switch, what it will do, it will replicate all traffic flowing across uh, two ports or on a specific VLAN or virtual LAN. And the last method is a little more, I would say, higher level in the sense where the information about um, exchange in a network between two hosts is uh, uh, included as part of the flow plot protocol statistics so uh, flow protocols are those protocols that basically give you a sense of uh, um, how your network is used but it does so by not logging or copying the traffic that is flowing across the router in this case but it's just giving you statistic of top IPs, top talkers or top applications so of course the type of uh, information that you can gather is uh, reduced when compared to a tap or a switch but it's still very useful to understand how uh, your overall network is um, being utilized uh, there are different type of uh, flow protocols NetFlow for example was developed by Cisco but then there are like uh, the Juniper version is JFlow and then there are also like uh, kind of open standard like Cflow D or Sflow for example um, uh, or there is also IP IPFix which is a, a new version of an open standard flow protocol all right let's go to the last type of network monitor which is active network monitoring um, as you uh, if you are familiar with NetBiz that's something that um, that's the NetBiz implementation we do monitoring by actively monitoring the network and active monitoring relies on uh, um, remote hardware software sensors that uh, they connect to the network like any other user or workstation and they run active tests against uh, uh, network services or applications uh, so they can do tests like ping uh, iperf to do throughput test uh, they can do dns checks they can do http checks and so on so it's uh, totally different from passive because passive listen to existing user connections why active monitoring does uh, continuous con uh, testing and monitoring with uh, its own traffic right so while passive you have to rely on uh, user traffic with active you don't need users because uh, the active sensor generate themselves traffic and uh, they know they can provide statistic of uh, network and application performance by analyzing the traffic that they generate and the response that they get from the network and the application so each type of monitoring uh, uh, has pros and cons and the two things are complementary so the typical architecture of an acti active monitoring solution to take a net is that you have generally like the remote sensors or agents in this case the bees uh, and those are the ones that perform tests against targets and across the network giving you information like uh, packet loss latency or dns resolution time or http resolution time and then all the data is sent real time back to the server for analysis and alerting if some uh, um, you know performance degradation conditions are detected and then all the information is available on the user dashboard for analysis and troubleshooting and so on um, so as you can imagine snmp passive and active they all have a very important uh, function in the network monitoring of a distributed network um, the quick uh, summary is that snmp will provide that the uh, network devices status and utilizations passive will tell you how your network is used and consumed by your users and active will provide real-time proactive and continuous monitoring of your network performance and applications 
With that, I wanted to thank you for uh, watching this video. And if you want to learn more about NetBees or network monitoring in general, go to our website, NetBees, spell N-E-T-B-E-E-Z dot net. Thank you.